Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter F Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So this video is going to be me sharing with you guys all of the Bible study books that I own. A lot of you have asked me how I do most of my Bible studies. A lot of the times I'm just picking up um, the Bible and reading a book of the Bible you know at a time doing verse by verse study chapter by chapter studies that's pretty much how i prefer to study the bible but there are some times when i don't want to study like that so i have books that go through different topics different um books of the bible different themes different people and um they're very very useful i have not gone through most of these yet because there are way too many um but i am determined to complete every last one of these um i have started quite a few i haven't really finished a ton of them just because i have so many and sometimes um I'll start a Bible study and then the Lord will lead me to really dive somewhere else into a study. Um, so I try to let the Spirit lead me into a study rather than me just picking up a book just because I want to pick up the study book to study, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start this off. Like, I have piles in front of me. I have them sectioned off by um, publishing company because I have quite a few from specific publishing companies. So the first company I'm going to start off with is Moody Publishers. I work with Moody Publishers a lot doing um, reviews of their nonfiction, their fiction, and things like that. Um, and I'm going to start off with them because I just recently got something in the mail um, a day ago, actually, a day or two days ago. And I'm super, super excited. So if you guys know, my favorite book, biblical fiction author is Miss Tessa Afshar. I love her writing. I love the way she really just crafts a fiction story based off of scripture and how she completely sticks to the scripture. It is phenomenal. You guys know I rave about her all the time. She's literally my number one biblical fiction author. So I found out that she was coming out with her own Bible study. And I was like so stoked because she actually just came out with Daughter of Rome in february and i was like yeah she's coming out with a new bible study and then i found out the day that it was going to be published which was the day before my birthday now i was a part of the launch team for the uh bible study which i was so stoked for so i had got an er now mind you i work with neck i work with i guess with a part i'm a part of net galley if i'm going to do a whole video on what net galley is and walk you guys through it but i use net galley to get a lot of ebooks for review um from different publishers secular books as well as christian books so um i saw it on there i was like oh let me request this bible study and i got approved for it and then i found out that they were having a launch team so of course i'm gonna join in we love tessa we know this um so i joined in on the launch team and they were still giving out the ebooks for um the launch team because of everything with covid and uh, you know shipping and just we know the world is going crazy okay um so i was like you know what i'm actually going to use my money my own personal money to buy this because i support tessa i love everything that she is her spirit is so sweet she's a kind woman i just love everything about tessa after like amazing um and her books really inspire me on a on a, on a different level and i just i love it so much so i took it upon myself to get both now i have them here but the crazy thing is she also did a dvd study with it now you know i'm not really big on dvd studies i own a few dvd studies and i'm only going to show you three of them today but um i'll do a separate video on like my christian movies dvd studies things like that um that are for like educational purposes but um i was like i have to have it because it's miss Tessa afshar and then she also did um some biblical recipes she remade biblical recipes in the actual dvd so i was like <laughs> we need um so i'm not sure if they're still having the deal but i only spent 23 dollars 22.99 if i'm not mistaken but 23 dollars 23.24 um for both of these together okay it came in a package deal that they have on moody's website so i will leave it linked down below um you can get the bible study off of amazon if you want the DVD is up there, but it's like named something else completely. So I would just say if you want both together in a bundle, go to Moody's website. They send it out and their shipping is pretty good. Like I said, I purchased this on my own. I have officially purchased three of their Bible studies with my own money. Two from Amazon and one from their direct website. 
um so i know way shape or form saying i got this free no i actually paid for this because i love miss tessa afshar so that is going to be the way home um it is a study of ruth it is god's invitation to new beginnings six week bible study on ruth so this is a dvd set that it comes in there are two discs inside i love 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 so it's three sessions on each each session is about 15 to 22 minutes long and um there's also like i said a bonus video that includes recipes that are provided in the book um so we have that and then we actually have the actual physical book now like i said i have already read through a lot all of these from moody i've read through already um most of them physical and then a lot of them on ebook because like i said i get a lot of my arts through net Galley. so um when it comes to Bible studies, I need physical books. I, I don't like Bible studies that are in ebook form because I like to write. Um, but oh, you guys do not understand how excited I am to be diving into this. This does not go with her book on um, Ruth, which is, oh my gosh, what's the name of that book? I'm looking at it right now. Give me a second. In the Book of Grace, it does not have to be paired with it. You don't have to read the book in order to do this. But I know for me, the month of July, I will be rereading that book because I haven't read the physical form. I've only read the ebook of that. It was a five star for me, of course. But um, definitely going to read that book and then also dive into this study because Tessa's writing always hits me in the heart. Um, everything that she pours how can I say it? What she pours out, I feel, if that makes sense, hopefully it makes sense, but we have this, A Study of Ruth. I love Ruth. We know this. <laughs> We've studied Ruth like twice on the channel. <laughs> Just know there is going to be another restudy of Ruth. You can never study a book of the Bible too many times because every time you study it, you're going to get something new. So just know. So I haven't written in this, but I have done the ebook version of this Bible study. Really great. Loved it. So we have both. And since I'm showing you guys DVDs, I'm going to show you guys the other two DVDs that I have before I show you guys the rest of the moody ones. But um, I have this one from Our Daily Bread. Um, it is their resilient six session DVD study. It's an invitation to a Jesus shaped life by Sheridan Bo Boise. Bossy. Don't know. I have not done this yet. A lot of these, I'm going to say, I have not done yet because there's so many. Um, but it does come with the DVD as well as a little book, the little study guide in it, which I think is so amazing. So there is like an actual study guide where there are questions and things that you have to read and study. So we have that. And the last one I have is this one from Joyce Meyer. It's Parables, Applying Jesus's Timeless Lessons to Your Everyday Life. Um, it's a huge little thing. Um, I think there's like how many dvds are in here i'm not even sure but um it goes over the well-known ones such as the prodigal son the laborers in the vineyard the pharisee and the tax collector the cost of discipleship the unforgiven servant and the rich young ruler um there is a little study booklet just really tiny like really tiny booklet in here but um she gives you the scripture text of what you need to read i'm trying to show you guys so you get the, the scripture text which is like three pages long um there then you get some things that she'll tell you to read and then some questions to answer it's a really tiny booklet so i probably won't even write in this but it does come with the six dvds i think two four six yeah there are six dvds so there's one dvd i take it yeah so there's one dvd in here and five cds that you can listen to um so there's the dvd it says dvd and then you have the disc that you can listen to so we have that i have not done this one either no surprise but all right, now that we've gotten that out the way, back to Moody. So like I said, the first one is The Way Home. I paid for this with my own money. It's by Tessa Afshar. We love her, okay? So <laughs> moving on, because this this is about to be super, super long. Okay, so next we have On Bended Me by Cricket Keith. I hope I'm saying it right, but it's Praying Like Prophets, Warriors, and Kings. It's an eight-week Bible study. I paid for this one on Amazon. It was about $9, $10 um, on Amazon, so I actually paid for this with my money. And um, it goes through Jesus, Paul, Job, Hannah, David, Asa, Jehoshaphat and Nehemiah so I was really intrigued by it because I was in my whole like getting books about prayer type of phase I'm still in that phase and I have not done this one yet <laughs> again y'all gonna hear me say that a lot so just beware I have a lot of these I haven't started most of these um or finished them rather because I started some didn't finish most yeah eventually we'll get through it but um yeah I was intrigued by this so much that I actually ended up making this picture like um they have it on moody moodypublisherswoman.com i'll leave it linked down below we can find all of their a list of all their bible studies as well as their dvd studies um i don't think this one has a dvd but most 
of them have DVD studies now, but they also have it where you can get like wallpapers and stuff for your computer, for your phone. Um, so I downloaded them and I, I had this one as my wallpaper for almost a year because it was really pretty. Um, but yeah, we have that one. And then following that, this was the other one that I paid for and I got this because I already own two other Bible studies from this author on X. Um, so when I saw this, they had a launch team again. Most of these were also launch team books, okay? So they had a launch team for this and I had signed up too late. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on Amazon to purchase it. And again, on Amazon, it like nine, ten dollars Check Amazon, do that. Um, but yeah, it's an eight week Bible study on Luke. This is Unexplainable Jesus. Um, and it's Rediscovering the God You Thought You Knew by Erica Wiggenhorn. Um, and I, like I said, I have two other Bible studies, which I'll show you guys next. I did start, okay? I. I, I was writing in here y'all I was writing I was highlighting it was it was good it was, it was good okay I was I was in the fields I think I got yeah see like I was in here writing okay <laughs> I still have my bookmark actually in here so I stopped at week three day four um is the last one I did um so I never got to day five so I did start this one um and like, like I said I have my bookmark in here I need to actually take it out but yeah i did start it i just i got into i think it was about the time i was in getting into a slump that i just threw this to the side and just never picked it back up but this was really good i was really really enjoying the study um she really went into depth about mary um as well as uh elizabeth it took me a minute to remember who luke's mother name was <laughs> but um it, it was amazing i i really was enjoying this bible study so this was great like i said it focuses on um, Luke is an eight week Bible study really great so the other two books from Erica Wiggenhorn that I have both of these I received the rest of these I received from Moody Publishers for review or for launch teams um, are the ones on Acts they're also called um, unexplainable so we have an unexplainable life which goes through Acts 1 through 12 it is a 10 week Bible study and it's rediscovering the wonder and devotion of the early church so this is a thick boy thick boy i have not started this i have not read through acts in its entirety i think i've studied acts one and two the most i have not gone through the complete book of acts yet so when i do go through that i will be diving into this but um you have acts one through 12 and then the second portion goes from 13 to 28 this one is called an unexplainable church and it's reigniting the mission of the early believers so early believers early church the whole book of acts and i think it's amazing that she has that so we have that then we have my two from Nancy DeMoss Wogamuth. You guys know how I feel about her Lies We Believe series. Um, she has Lies Women Believe, Lies Young Women Believe, as well as Lies Girls Believe. And then her husband wrote the men's version. Right now there's only one. Um, they're on my shelf, right? These two books right here. But it's Lies Men Believe. Um, I own that book. I'm keeping it for myself um, so that I can read it because I, even though I'm a woman, I'm still going to read it. Um, but we have the Lies Young Women Believe Bible Study Guide. Um, I have not written in this at all. Um, I am doing this with my, like, I've, I'll take that back. I've written in it, but I haven't, like, written answers in it. Um, you guys know I read the book, and I'm currently doing this study with my sister. We actually have not done it in a very long time. We stopped at week two. <laughs> yeah. Um, we stopped at week two. My, my notes and stuff are still in here, so I need to actually keep this out and pick it back up with my sister that was our personal sister bible study time but that's a great i recommend the book for adults to read and i also recommend it for teenagers to read it's such a beautiful read um and then i have the one for that goes with the women's book which is lies women believe i have not done it clearly because i have yet to read the book and i don't know why i've been wanting to read the book but i'm like holding off on reading it i guess because when i read lies young women believe it really like gutted me <laughs> so i'm not ready to be gutted again yeah but i have to study guide for it so yes all right so then we have quite a few more from woody i'm not even keeping count of how many total i have because i'm pretty sure it's like in the 50s who cares so we have who do you say that i am by becky harlan an eight-week bible study it's a fresh encounter for deeper faith um yeah I, i'm I'm not going to get into depth because there's way too many Bible studies. But um, it's really her just going through the Gospels and Revelation. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, John, Luke. No, there's no Luke. So Matthew, Mark, yeah. Matthew, Mark, John, Luke, and Revelation is what she really focuses on in this study. Um, so we have that. 
Then we have this one, If God is for Us by Trillia J. Newbell. Newbell, I think that's how I say it. It's in six week study on Romans 8. I have started it, never, never finished it. Um, did I even write in it? No, I didn't write. <laughs> didn't write in it, but I used a journal to start it. Um, yeah, because she had the launch team and then she also did a Bible study bible study with her type of thing where they were going through this and i think i had posted it up on my instagram but i just never yeah i just yeah <laughs> so we have that um then we have kim erickson's his last words what jesus taught and prayed in his final hours this is a seven week bible study of john 13 and 17 it does go through the entire book of john but it focuses more so on his last words and um john 13 and 17 i have not started this moving on <laughs> okay so these last four i have not started even so yeah i can't tell you guys but this is he is enough um living in the fullness of jesus this is a six-week study of colossians by this author here i can never pronounce her name i know who she is she has a youtube channel um but i can never say her name right but um i love her writing i love her books and i bought it or not i didn't buy it but i got it for review so it's a colossians bible study we have one on ephesians it's an eight-week bible study on ephesians calls included in christ living a new story from ephesians by heather holman and i'm thinking about picking this one up actually because um i recently did a blog uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna post it but i'm gonna let you know guys know about it anyway i did a blog because i was going through um emotions and i had a slight little breakdown and breakdown meaning like i broke down crying in tears and um you know i just let the heaviness go and i was saying how i felt uh less than i felt like i wasn't good enough um and i just want to say just because you're an evangelist just because you're a pastor a bishop does not mean you're not human we are all human at the end of the day okay the only difference between being a pastor a bishop an evangelist an elder or whatever is that you know how to get out of those slumps compared to not knowing how to get out of those slumps um so i'm still going through that even in the midst of me making this video but i wanted to make this video it was like pressing on my heart to do it so i'm doing it but um I, I hopefully i will have that blog for you guys before you see this hopefully if not it'll be up after this video but um yeah i'm gonna actually pick this up because it might also help me with what i'm dealing with mentally and emotionally and also you guys know i just turned 29 so the first week of being 29 i was like cool with it and i guess everything is starting to hit me now the enemy is starting to play with my mind and um he trying we ain't gonna let it happen but um yeah it's just an eight week study on ephesians i've studied ephesians with you guys before so this i'm gonna try it out then we have this these two by laura dingman um they're both six week studies this one is called this i know trusting your own known future to a known god um i don't really know what 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 books in the bible she go through so we have that and then <laughs> her other one is i am found um quitting the game of hide and seek with god and others and it's also like i said a six week bible study so we have these um I'm, I'm not doing the best of explaining everything just because there are so many so if you want more in-depth video on any of the bible studies that i'm mentioning today just let me know down below in the comment section there are a lot so bear with me all right so now we're gonna move on to i guess i guess that doesn't go there we're gonna do lifeway next so i have my stack of lifeway these i purchased yeah one of these was gifted to me it's correction i think three of these were gifted to me and then the other three are purchased if i'm not mistaken um so the first one we have is a battle plan prayer by um stephen and alice kendrick we did this bible study um i can't remember if it was sips or doi honestly i don't remember because i know that sips also redid it so i can't remember but this was about the war room phase the fervent phase that phase <laughs> um yeah i completed this bible study as you guys can see it's all tabbed up now the tabs at the top are just portions that i have to go back to and um fill out is it no the tabs at the top are things that stuck out to me that i really wanted to remember and i think the ones on the side are ones that i need to go back and fill yeah because like i left certain some things blank on them i think yeah that's what the tabs are so i love this bible study though is filled out completed <laughs> work i accomplished that okay i'm proud of myself okay the next one is jonah this was a this was a gift from steph okay steph sent this to me if you guys don't know who steph is whole team beauty and books go to her channel click the eye um i was so excited to get this because this was about the time we were going to study jonah jonah and um this was so good 
so good and you guys are gonna see the next two books are by the same author um priscilla shire we know i love priscilla shire ever since war room and then reading fervent um and then watching overcomer i'm just i love her love for god her passion for god and um this is jonah navigating a life uninterrupted so good so good so good so good all right when i say i was in here y'all i was in here highlighting i also did an online video study with um i can't remember the youtuber's name i will try to find it and leave it in the cards but i was in here marking up you guys let me see if i can find it was hannah denton that's what it was hannah denton did a study through this actual book um and i did it because i didn't have the actual dvd videos to watch so um i watched hannah's video and took some notes down as i was doing it but this was good completed it loved it would recommend it um and then we have this one which i think i started <laughs> never finished yeah i started this i only did three days i did three days and then i stopped because i wasn't in the mood like i said priscilla shy is the arm of god um seven week bible study i never picked it back up i did three days like i said three days were started and i was into it but um never picked it back up so we have that then we have these two from oh no it's only one okay i take that back so this one i didn't start um but it was a gift from my son's father he got it for me it's finding i am by lisa turkis um how jesus fully satisfies the cry of your heart it's a six session bible study this is one of the studies i really wanted for a long time but never got and um i had mentioned it and he got it for me so i was super excited about that and um, i'm excited to get into this this goes through oh my god it goes through the gospel of john stop playing now mind you like i said i didn't know anything i just knew that i really wanted to study it and um it goes through the i am's of john y'all know i love the gospel of john that's my favorite book in the bible um so yeah we have that and then these two both again started never finished um so this one is open your bible by rachel myers and amanda bible williams if you guys don't know who they are they are both the founders of um she reach truth so the whole she reach truth brand the website the bibles they are the creators of it and they had this bible study um and i started it never finished it it was good though um i don't even think i got that far yeah see my bookmark is still <laughs> my bookmark is still here so i don't even think i even started no mm -mm. i only did the introduction for week one i never went into day one literally um so like i said i only started the introduction of it filling in things but um I'm gonna get back to that eventually and then we have seamless by angie smith understanding the bible as one complete st story a seven week bible study um i started this there's a dvd and i think a lot of the reason why i started them and never finished is because a lot of these contain dvd videos that they would prefer you to watch and because i don't own dvds it was kind of hard to really fully understand without watching them so that's part of it um i completed day one but i started day two and never finished it so i highlighted but never finished it so um i did do day one you guys can see like i was circling and answering but um i never picked it back up and i think i should now that i have a better understanding of um the word of god so those are that then we are gonna do this bunch here these are from zondervan um the publishing company so i got this so i paid for this one i think a bunch of these i got off of yeah all of these i got from christianbook.com and they they have their like ten dollar sale five dollar flyer sales or um their bible like they have random sales so when they do have random sales and i have the finances i'll go on there and snag books i love christianbook.com for their prices but what i don't like and why i don't order too often from them is because their shipping is not a flat rate <laughs> their shipping is based on the amount that you spend and i can't stand that it bothers me so much because I'm, I'm the type of person like <laughs> If I can get free shipping, I will spend the actual amount to get free shipping. But with their shipping, it's like based on how much you're spending. That's how much they're gonna. I, I hate it so much. So I just prefer Amazon Prime free shipping, right? Um, but that's just me. Anyways, um, so the first one is the Purple Book, and this one actually intrigued me a lot because it's called the Purple Book. Um, and I know that purple is a sign of royalty. So this is Biblical Foundations for Building Strong Disciples by Rice. Brox and Steve Merle. 
I think that's how you say it. Um, it's over a million prints sold apparently, but um, when I actually looked into it, I was so shook by how it, how I actually need to keep this out and probably do it. Yeah, but its focus is on um, sin and salvation, lordship and obedience, repentance and baptism, the Holy Spirit and spiritual gifts, spiritual hunger in God's word, discipleship and leadership, spiritual family, church life, prayer and worship, faith and hope, biblical prosperity and generosity, evangelism and world missions, and then resurrection and judgment. So it's pretty much going through the foundation of the Bible um and i mean it's broken down really well let me just show you guys so like prayer and worship this is it it gives you some scriptures um and then you have your lessons so your personal prayer the power of prayer corporate prayer a biblical prayer list and then they give you some of paul's prayers from um ephesians what worship is and then it goes into the next so it's like an in-depth thing for discipleship um so i'm actually gonna keep this out and study i'm gonna do that like i said a lot of these have been on my bookshelf just haven't really pulled them out so yeah um then we have this the daniel prayer by ann graham lots it's prayer that moves heaven and changes the nations um i got this because i really thought this said the daniel fast bible study <laughs> it was a little bit of a mix-up but it's okay because i love the book of daniel um so i'm excited to dive into this I have not started this at all and then the last two are going to be um, Women of the Bible Bible Studies. So this one is 12 Women of the Bible, Life-Changing Stories for Women Today. It's 12 sessions. So you get 12 women. I, I will show you. I, oh, I, sh I did start this one. Bookmark is in it. So I got up to Rebecca. And Rebecca was, I think, session two. So I did session two on Rebecca. I do own the actual video sessions for this on my computer. But um, this one goes through Eve, Rebecca, L Leah, Hannah, Abigail, Gomer, Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mary of Bethany, Martha, the woman at the well, and the Syrophoenician woman. Um, so we have that. And you have people like Lisa Turkus, Al Alicia Morgan, who wrote Bible studies. I don't know any of these people besides Lisa Turkus and um alicia that's it i don't know if it's Alyssa or alicia don't know probably saying it wrong um and then there's the part two um both of these were edited by sherry hart harney um but this is 12 more women of the bible um so it has 12 more women of the bible that you can study um I know that Crystal Hurst Evans has written in this, so that's the only person that I'm well aware of. But this one goes through the Proverbs 31 woman, Deborah, the Shulamite woman, Ruth, Pua and Sapphira, Esther, Priscilla, Mary and Martha, again? Oh, okay, I understand why. Um, the Bent woman, the woman with the issue of blood, Elizabeth and Anna. So, haven't started this because I want to get through the first one first, but we had that. Okay, so then we're going to go on to Thomas Nelson. I have a few here. I have this. This is a like a study guide that goes with the video series. I don't own the videos, but I have the guide because I have the book. Um, and it's Captivating by John and Stacey Eldridge. It's Unveiling the Mystery of a Woman. So I probably should keep this out and do this too. So I'm going to keep that out. <laughs> it goes with the book that I do own on my shelf somewhere. Um, then we have Max Lakato's Unshakable Hope for Students. It's a student edition, The Promise book. And um, it's just all about the promises of God. And I do have a book by him on the promises of God. I honestly don't even think this is a Bible study. <laughs> like, there's a section called Think and Respond. So I think that's why I... It says Think and Respond. I think that's why I threw it with my Bible studies. Yeah, this is not even a Bible study, so we gotta put that on the shelf, the correct one. Um, then we have Goliath Must Fall. I did start it, never finish it, but I finished the actual book of this, um, and I got through session, I got part way through session three and then stopped. So, oh no, excuse me, session two. I've completed session two. I need to dive back into like session three and finish, but um, this was really good. Is that session three or session four? Yeah, I need to pick up on, um, I started session three is what I'm saying, but I didn't finish it. So there's another portion of session three. So three to four I need to do. 
um two bible studies by lisa turkers one i had i don't know if i completed no i didn't complete it i stopped <laughs> there's my little tab <laughs> i stopped at uh day three of week what week is this I'm trying to see what the week was all right all right week session two day three i stopped at um but i did fill it out i was highlighting um this is uninvited it goes along with her actual book um there is a dvd study that goes with it i don't own it but um i did read the actual book uninvited love the ebook i do want to own a physical copy of it but really really good um it's about living love when you feel less than left out and lonely i should probably keep this one out too all right the other one from lisa turkers um i do own the actual book to this it's the best yes i haven't started it haven't read the actual book yet so i'm not going to start this until i read her book but um it's making wise decisions in the midst of endless demands so we have this this does also come with the dvd but i don't own the dvd so last one i have from thomas nelson is going to be 30 left principles by charles f stanley in the ns nasb edition um i tried to start this but got so confused um like i did try and start it but i don't own the actual study to this like i started it but i was completely lost so i never picked it back up um so i don't know if it's because i need an nas bible to understand or if there's other portions to this that i need um because i know that he has a whole life principle series i know that my sis angela over at sips sisters and pearls because the articles of the channel um has or is she is still going through this um so i'm going to look into this and see if there's other portions that i need in order to do this because no he has a bible which i did own the bible but i actually ended up giving that bible away to someone who had asked for it so um yeah we have that all right i think i'm done with those so i have some from baker publishing one from rebel and three from bethany house so this was actually gifted to me so oh, all the ones that I just showed you guys, um, I purchased. All of them were like purchased by me or given to me. And most of the ones from Thomas Nelson were purchased through um, ChristianBook.com. There we go. Um, so then this one was actually given to me from my mother because she had a copy of it and I really wanted it. Um, but then I did. Okay, so we know the story. So I saw this, my mom had it. And it's becoming a wo the woman of God sorry becoming the woman god wants me to be a 90-day guide to live in the proverbs 31 life proverbs 31 life by donna parto um and then when i had looked into it oh, i'll take it back this is actually paid for myself because i actually left the receipt in <laughs> so i left the receipt in there so i got this at the penn station in new york um and it was 15.99 <laughs> but um i think there was something about it being holistic and yeah it's like a holistic plan and when i mentioned it in a video someone had mentioned to me exactly what holistic was and i guess my understanding of holistic is very different um because of what media has portrayed it to be um someone said that holistic is basically just natural things um so i was like okay why not try it out so i got it never actually did it um when did i get this you guys was mm. march 27th 2018 i bought this yeah um and then these three i got from christianbook.com when they were having a sale they were only sell having a sale on these three but there's like a series i don't even know how many there are but i have five six and eight so i have growing in christ your life in christ and then your ultimate victory um it's a series by it's the victory series by neil t anderson i know that my sis angela is doing the series study on this she has all of them um i think there are 10 i'm not sure it is based off of his book sorry if you guys heard that oh no there's only eight eight books in the series um it is based off of his book let me grab it for you because i have it right here 
so <clears throat> oh sorry about that so i have this book by nail t anderson is victory over the darkness Re realizing the power of your identity in christ um i actually found this at my local library's book sale they were supposed to have one again in may but then covid hit and everything went haywire so i'm not sure when they're gonna have it anymore but um this was a book that i had purchased and i said that somebody had like wrote in it and most of the times i don't care but this person like went in trying to find that page where they were like writing like this person went in and i was just like my god look look look, look at this and this was actually from a man so a man wrote in this wow wow i'm just not like looking i thought a woman had wrote in here but a man wrote in this there's like two different pen writings there's like a pencil someone wrote in pencil someone wrote in blue so i'm not sure if they were like passing this book back and forth look at this i'm like so excited to dive in they were like in here with pencil again i don't know who owned this it was at the library book sale and i picked it up because i knew that i had the series so there's only eight sessions so i probably should just pick up the other ones as well um but i only have these three because they were on sale on christianbook.com so yeah all right we're almost there we're almost there this minute the video is almost 30 minutes long so it's probably gonna be about 40 sorry um so then we have in all things by melissa b kroger this came out in 2018 um this is a study of philippians it's a nine-week devotional bible study so this is a devo bible study that you can do um i read through it but i haven't done the actual physical book so yeah it goes through all of philippians so we have that um, I have this one, which you guys know now. This is not really a Bible study, but I'm including it in here as a Bible study because there is a Bible study in the back of the book. So it's kind of like a book that's a Bible study, um, but it is Really Bad Girls of the Bible by uh, Liz Curtis Higgs. It's more lessons from less than perfect women. I raved about this in one of my unboxings for the Delilah box, so we have that. Then I have these two from D. Briston. So I have He Calls You Beautiful by her. This is Hearing the Voice of Jesus in the Song of Songs. I have started this. Um, you can see my bookmark. I only got up to less. Yeah, I was still on lesson one, but I actually filled out a journal. Hold on. Okay, so this was the journal I was using to do my questions and stuff in. So like I was like writing my answers down um so i started it never finished it gotta pick that back up but because it's focused on um it's not just about focusing on the voice of jesus but it's also like the romantic part of um the bible i just wasn't ready to read it so yeah um and then we have this one which is the jesus who surprises is opening your eyes to his scripture and all of life and um scripture oh, i'm sorry opening your eyes to his presence um this came out uh, in 2019 so um it's jesus in genesis psalms and in isaiah so those are the ones that she really focuses on so we have that i read through it but i didn't study it so i really can't give you guys my thoughts on it <laughs> so we have that almost there almost there so i'm gonna go through these little booklets i picked these little things up from dollar tree okay check your local dollar tree a lot of the times they have little tiny booklets um that are like faith-based and this one is actually a bible study series on or it's called a devotion series but i'm gonna say bible study because i feel like it's more bible study than anything on um the nine fruits of the spirits there was a previous edition that they had of these um but then they had these pretty ones that i picked up so um it literally goes through each individual fruit of the spirit now mine's are a little my, my bible studies are a little bit sticky because i spilled soda a couple weeks ago and um i didn't realize that it got to the bottom row of my book shelf so I clean it up but um we have love joy peace patience kindness and then we have goodness faithfulness so if you guys hear that um gentleness and self-control so give me a second to see if that is male for me or not okay so i'm back um it wasn't really mail for me i had mail but it wasn't specifically for me um so yeah so the next five bible studies i'm going to show you guys are from random 
publishers because I don't have like a bunch of them. So this first one I got from ChristianBook.com when they were having their $5 sale. It's Galatians Breakaway to Freedom by Sarah L. Howell. I don't know anything about this author. I just saw that it was $5 and I was on a Bible study kick and they were having a sale. So I threw it in there because I think it was like if you spend over a certain amount, you had got free shipping. That's the only time I really order is when they have good deals and they're having like a free shipping type of thing. So yeah, um, it is a study, a six week study, verse by verse through the book of Galatians. So I'm excited to dive into this and see what it's about. Um, so yeah, we have that. Then we have this one I was sent for review from um, Ambassador International. I do work with them. I do get a lot of biblical fiction from them. Uh, this is an eight week study called Enough of Me by Priscilla Peters. It's winning the tug of war between our flesh and our mission. So we have that. I honestly haven't done this and I received it a while ago. I feel bad that I haven't been able to like really go through this study, but um, I'm still looking forward to get through it. Um, so we have that. Then we have Becoming Mom Strong Bible Study by Heidi St. John. It's a six weeks journey to discover your God given calling. Um, I don't remember where I got this from. I think it most likely was ChristianBook.com, honestly. Um, I don't have the actual physical version of the book Mom Strong. I have the um, ebook version and I also have the little prayer book that comes with there's like a little book of prayers for moms that goes with this kind of study that she recently came out with so um yeah it's a six week study that'll teach you to um be strong in the lord to know who you are in christ and to impart god's strength and unchanging truth to your children so i probably should keep this up too all right um and the last two are geared towards women of color which i'm super super excited for so this first one you guys have seen already me haul um but it's just a sister away understanding the timeless connection between women of today and women in the bible um and we have it like this and this goes through hagar and sarah naomi and ruth martha and mary jephthah's daughter and the morning woman miriam and her cushite sister-in-law zipporah um the woman who followed jesus Vash, Vashti and Esther, Elizabeth and Mary, Lot's wife and his daughter, the daughters of Zelophad, the Gospel of Mary, the Queen of Sheba, and Ash, Ashka and Caleb. I think that's how you say Caleb's daughter's name. Can't really remember, but um, it goes through that. Um, so this is written by Renita J. Weems. Um, so yeah we have that and then the other one i recently got at walmart because walmart always has a great i really suggest if you're at walmart your local walmart and if they have like a dedicated book section or even if you see the little trolleys with the little books on them definitely check them out because they have a lot of great books a lot of the times i'll be wanting those i i normally want the books but i can't get them because i either a purchased it already or b was sent it for review so <laughs> we have that but this is um the women of the bible for women of color and when we saw this at Walmart, we had to get it. Now, it's marked as 15 bucks, but Walmart always has 25% off on their books. So, I think since it was 15% off, I think it was like about $12, 12 $11, something like that. But um, this goes through a bunch of women, okay? I'm not even going to list, but you have the Old Testament women that it goes through. And then you have New Testament that starts at the bottom to the next page. So, I'm super, super excited to dive into this. Um, it's not really a Bible study, but it is a Bible study at the same time because it gives you things to read. So I'm including it in this video, but it's really not a Bible study. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. All right. So then we're almost there. We're almost there. We only have four more stacks, four more stacks, four more stacks to go. So starting off with our daily bread, I have four, four here. And I'm sorry if you guys hear that music, my neighbors next door. I live by um, Jamaicans and I live by Africans, so you guys know they like their music, they like the party, it's a nice day outside, so yeah. Um, sorry if you guys hear the music. Hopefully it's not loud or it's not coming through on the camera. Let me move my camera up just a bit to me. And again, I apologize about the glare. I can't help that. Okay, so I have two of their Journey Through Bible Studies, both written by Mike Ryder. I have a 30-day one, which goes through Colossians and Philemon literally it's just a bible study through that um and it's literally like day 20 it tells you what to read it gives you some insight section for notes and um some things to reflect on so kind of like a devo bible study and then i have the one on matthew which is a 62 day 
yeah 62 day devotional um i know that there are several other versions of this that i do want to eventually get but i normally get these when they send their out our um daily bread devotionals to me and they always have the little, the little piece of paper that you can send back i have actually a stack of those i probably should have mailed out when i went to the post office today we're gonna move along okay and then following that i have these two um it's their discovery series bible study um they're both six studies um so it's like six sessions in a sense but um it says six studies i have the one that says jesus's blueprint for prayer applying the lord's prayer to your life by hayden robinson i have gone through this before um but i hated my writing in it to the point that i threw it out and i did have backups um so i kept an extra backup for myself to redo this study the proper way i know that sounds insane but i've done this already it's a really great study but i want to redo it okay there we go and then i have another one on simon peter a rock moved by god this is by bill crowder so this one says for spiritual courage and then this one is on prayer but um they're both six studies in here so then we're on to navi press um i'll take that back we have another one from a random publisher um this is god breathe the undeniable power and relatability of scripture by josh mcdowell it goes along with the book i don't own the book i need to get the book but it just sounded really good so that's why i got it um i don't know how good it is but it sounded good. And again, ChristianBook.com when they were having a sale. Then I have these two from Navi Press. Um, so we have, she did what she could study God by Alicia or Alyssa Morgan. I don't know if she says Alicia or Alyssa. I need to figure out how she pronounces her name. I should. But um, if she did what she could. It's from, er, what's that scripture in the Bible? Lord help me. Mark. I think it's in Mark. mark 14 3 through 9 yeah leave her alone when jesus was saying leave her alone why are you bothering her she has done a beautiful thing to me um so yeah that's what this is really focusing on i do own the actual book to this but this also is a study guide to the book but i have the book that has the actual book and study guide in one so i have a second backup of the actual study guide in a separate book don't ask me why i don't know um then i have this from what's his name Oh my gosh eugene h peterson um it's ruth discovering your place in god's story it is a draw in drawn in bible study so it's a bible study on ruth but the idea is that you can color in it so it's for those artistic souls that um can't really sit still too too much when it comes to studying the word of god i know some people prefer to color he does have two other ones on mary and esther um i did receive this for review when i was working with um what is the company's name when i was working with tindall through their my readers reward program um i had got this i do still want to get the other two but i want to see if i will actually utilize this so we have this one then we have a bunch from um henderson's publishers you guys have seen these already um so we have the spiritual practices for everyday life the individual bible study so this one is on fasting and stewardship this one is on simplicity and silence Forgiveness and reconciliation, solitude and contemplation, as well as service and mentoring. There are a few more of these. Yeah, there's Bible study and meditation, celebration and community, the one that has confession, the one that has, do I have that one? Yeah, the one on faith, the one on outreach, the one on Sabbath. Yeah, so there's like a bunch of other ones that they have that I'm still working on getting. But um, these are the ones that I currently own right now. And to end this long video, my God, um, I have all of these books minus, I think there was one that I didn't get, um, which I probably should have got, but I didn't get it because I didn't feel the need um, to get it. It wasn't like something pressing on my heart to get. This is something that I eventually want to do with my husband. Um, it is a set of Bible studies geared towards marriage. Um, it is from the Focus on the Family series that they have. Um, it's their marriage series. And I own them all except for one. Um, the one that I'm missing is the Blended Family. I didn't feel the need to have that. It's basically like, uh, say you're with someone and um, you have a kid together. You think you're going to get married, but you don't marry that person. And you marry someone else 
who has kids um you're blending your families kind of thing so it's like a bible study like that um i didn't feel the need to get it it wasn't something that the lord was pressing on my heart to get uh he pressed on me to get these so i got the other ones um so there is the commuting communicating marriage which is um learn how open expression strengthens your life together and these are by gary and greg smalley that's their names there we go um they're published by bethany house but it says um the family project focus on the family and i know that uh tony dr tony evans has a couple of books from them as well so you have the communicating marriage the passionate marriage which i thought was so funny um it's learn how intimacy shapes your life together the covenant marriage discover how god's promises shape your life together the giving marriage Discover how to reflect the love of Christ in your life together. The masterpiece marriage. Discover God's grand design for your life together. The model marriage. Discover the power of sacrificial love in your life together. Then we have the fighting marriage. Learn healthy ways to resolve conflict in your life together. The abundant marriage, which is discover God's extravagant plan for your life together. And the last one is a surprising marriage. Discover the adventure of faith in your life together. So um, it's really just geared towards you spending your life together the way God designed it and ordained it to be, um, how he ordained marriage to be. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they all on the back say four of the same thing. So it says the study, their studies contain four sessions, um, each with four main components tilling the ground, planting the seed, watering the hope, and harvesting the fruit. So, I'm excited to get into these. I'm really, really excited to um, read these by myself and with my husband when the time comes. Um, so, I probably should keep these out too. Probably should. But yeah, those are all of my physical Bible studies that I own. Now, I own books like these that are not really bible studies but include study guides in them i'm not going through all of them because they're on the other shelf that i don't want to grab um and i also have dvds at the bottom of this shelf um so i will go through my dvds soon um and share with you guys all of my dvds that are educational purposes for um furthering your understanding in the word of god um and also through the christian movies that we own but uh yeah i have a lot quite a lot of bible studies i have not gone through a lot of them some of them i have started though um and i'm like I'm, I'm very grateful to own all of these and again the way i study personally i study book by book chapter by chapter but in those moments where i don't want to do a study like that these come in handy which is why some of these i've started some of them i've finished some of them i haven't um right now i have these three pulled out to the side uninvited i've already done loved it so i'm not gonna sound like a restudy but um becoming mom strong definitely i probably should start that real soon um, captivating is about um, marriage relationships being a woman so I, I need that and then the purple book I just feel like I should just do this to keep myself grounded where I should be so I'm keeping those four out because those are ones I'm definitely gonna do for July I'm definitely diving into the way home by Tessa Afshaw because <laughs> we love Miss Tessa but other than that that is it if you have any comments questions or concerns let me know if you want any specific reviews let me know if you want to do you a study with me kind of session on these books let me know um but i guess that's it for now um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for rating commenting, and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next one bye